In a peaceful forest, lived a clever fox named Felix and a very shy turtle named Timmy. Timmy loved to sing, but only when no one was around. He was afraid others would laugh at his quiet little voice. La 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 Oh no, someone's coming. What should I do? What should I do? Hey there, Timmy! I heard a beautiful tune! Was that you? If you've ever wished to start an animated faceless YouTube channel, whether for entertainment, making money online, or just tell your own stories, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create amazing animated videos using nothing but AI tools. You will learn how to go from static script to animated scenes just like the one you've watched. It's easier than you think, but only if you use the right tools and the right order. So let's jump in. First thing first, we need a story. Story. To generate a story, we will head over to ChatGPT and write a short story. Only do this if you do not have your own story. I'll copy and paste this prompt that I created. It says, write a two-minute moral story for kids about kindness featuring two animal characters, which is a fox and a turtle. Include animal characters, some conflict, and a happy ending. One thing I've emphasized is that it should include narration, dialogue, and the same cues. This will really help us in our next part. So we click enter and wait for ChatGPT to provide us with a detailed and amazing story. Now, this is very amazing. ChatGPT has given us the title of the story, the scenes that will help us understand how the background looks, the narrator, and the two characters that we have in our story. This is just so perfect. Now, this shouldn't be a final stop. You can still ask it to give you more different stories and from there, choose the one that amazes you and aligns with what you want to create. Once ChatGPT is done writing a story for us, it's time to generate the characters for the story. But before we do that, let's tell ChatGPT to describe the characters' appearance or physical features based on the story that we have. This description will help us create our characters with precision. Just give it that prompt and click on generate. We've got our first character character who is Felix the Fox, same applies with our second character who is Timmy the Tato. Once that is done, copy everything and paste it into a Google Doc or a Notepad. Once you paste in the story, you can tweak it a bit by giving it that human touch and human feeling all together. And once that is done, it's time to generate our characters. Head over to Open Art AI. The reason I love this tool is because it gives you control and flexibility over your characters' actions and poses. It's also good for branding and continuation of stories. Maybe you have a part one and part two. You can still come back and use the same characters again and again. Once you're on Open Art AI, come to Characters. From there, come to Start with Description. Here, we need to paste in the name of our character. After that, copy the prompt that describes your first character and paste it here. After that, choose a style for your character. Once you insert all the details, click on Generate Preview. Here, Open Art will display three character options and you need to choose one. If you're not satisfied with the current character images, you can click on Regenerate to get a new set of character designs. Select a character of your choice and click generate character and in a few minutes your character will be ready. Repeat the same process for the second character. While list characters is still selected, just click on start with description, input the name of your second character, input the description of your character, and select the style for your character. Once our characters are generated, we'll find them here under my character. This is our first character, Felix the Fox, and this is our second character, Timmy the Turtle. Now that we have our characters ready, it's time to generate images. Here we'll follow the sequence and scene of our story. Where there is one character, we will generate an image of only one character. Where there are two characters, we will generate images of two characters. For example, when we take a close look at our our story. So our first scene will be an opening scene of a clear forest with birds chirp softly as a sunlight filters through the trees. Then here the narrator will first of all introduce our first character who is Felix the Fox. After that the narrator will introduce the second character who is a Timmy the Turtle. Meaning we'll first of all generate an image of our first character. After that we need to generate an image of our second character. So we'll go back to Open Art AI. 
and we'll select the first character who is Felix the Fox to create our images. So click create and here we're going to click on a prompt and a reference. Here we've seen Felix's name written down. So what we want to do is to type in a prompt that describes what Felix is currently doing at this particular moment. According to our story, both of these animals are just in the forest roaming about. So we'll copy this part of the opening scene and we'll paste it here saying Felix is in a quiet forest, softy and sunlight filters through the trees. Now, from here, what we want to do is to scroll down a little bit, make sure that auto enhancer is turned on, scroll down a little bit and change the aspect ratio. We'll type in 1280 by 720 as a standard aspect ratio for a normal YouTube video. From there, we'll scroll down a little bit. Here, we'll select the number of images to be three, then we'll click on create. And here are our beautiful images of our character in the forest warming about. This is just so amazing. If you're here so far, click on the like button. I would really appreciate to see that from you. Now this is done, we're going to close this tab. According to our script, we need to create our Tato's images. Now to create images for our second character who is Timmy, we're going to close this page. We'll come to where it says a switch. So here we're going to select our second character who is Timmy and we can see Timmy's name written down here. Now we'll leave this same prompt because it's just an introductory part. Then we'll scroll down a little bit ensuring that all the settings are just the same, the aspect ratio and the number of images. And once that is done, we click on create. And here are the images of our character. This is just so beautiful. Give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate. According to our story, it continues by telling us more on what Timmy is doing. Here it says Timmy peeks out from his shell, humming softly under a tree. So what we can simply do is copy this scene or prompt, come back to open at AI, close this tab, scroll up. While Timmy is still selected in our prompt section, we're going to delete this prompt that we have and we're going to paste in this new prompt and we're going to scroll down, making sure that all the settings are the same and we'll click on create. And these are the images of our character, very beautiful and very consistent. So what we're supposed to do is we'll close this tab and we'll go to our story. Let me show you the final thing that you're supposed to do if you have two characters in one scene. I'm going to skip this part where Tommy is alone doing his own things. Now, according to our story, Timmy here is my muttering with his song and someone is coming and that someone who is coming is a Felix. So what we're going to do is we'll go back to open at AI and we're going to delete this prompt. While Timmy is still selected, what we're going to do is we'll come to this button that says add character and we're going to select our second character who is a Felix. So we have two characters here in the prompt box. So we're going to describe what Timmy is currently doing and what Felix is also doing. According to our script, Timmy is muttering and Felix the fox strays by. So we're going to copy this part for Timmy muttering. Come back to open at AI. We'll paste it here and we're going to copy this part for Felix who strays by. Come back to open at and here where it says Felix the fox, we're going to say strays by. Then from there, we're going to leave the number of images and these settings just like the way we are and we'll click on create. And these are our images, very consistent, very beautiful and very perfect. I love how everything looks. So what you're supposed to do is close this tab, go back to your story and check what will happen next in your story with your characters. Now, once we generate images for all our characters and for the entire story, we need to convert our characters or images into animated video clips. Now, this is where the magic happens. We will follow the actions our characters are doing in every scene. Now, to turn them into a video, what we're going to do is we'll click on at this video icon it will bring us to this page now here we can first of all select a model that we want to use currently clean 1.6 is selected but open at ai has just introduced new models that we can use to generate our images including clean 2.0 this is just so beautiful so we leave it to clean 1.6 then from there we're going to scroll a little bit here you can start with frame and the end frame but we'll leave it just like this for now then here we need to provide details that this 
describes the action unfolding in the scene. Now, to do that, we can simply go to our story, go through the story, and check what is happening in the story. So here, Felix the fox scrolls by, humming confidently and carrying a basket, and he starts talking to the turtle. So this is exactly what we're going to input in our prompt box. Now, in most cases, you find that both characters will be talking, but that shouldn't worry you. Now, what we simply have to do from there is a scroll down a little bit and choose the duration for our video. We'll select five seconds, just like the way it is. Then here we need to choose the quality mode. I'll select pro. Then from there, just click on the plus icon here to add negative prompts. In my negative prompts, I've just pasted in aggressive expression, duplicate characters, hungry expression, title talking, Timmy the title talking. Once that is done, I'll just click on create to make my character talk. And our video is ready. Let me play it for you to see the way everything looks. Okay, this is just so amazing. Only Felix the fox is talking and the turtle is just listening. This is just so amazing. So what we're going to do is we're going to download it by clicking on this download icon. Now, before we go any further, let's go back to our script. After Felix, the fox finishes talking, here it says, Timmy is the one who responds back. So we'll go back to Open at AI. We'll close this tab. Here I'll say, Timmy the turtle is talking slowly. And I'll scroll down a little bit. I'll select the duration to be five seconds and the quality mode to be pro. And I'll scroll a little bit and I'll add the negative prompts. This time around, we'll say Felix the fox talking and the fox talking. These will be our negative prompts. We do not want the fox to be talking in this particular scene. Then we do not want any aggressive expression or duplicate character angry expression. So once that is done, we'll click on the create button to create our video. Okay, and here is the beautiful video of our turtle talking a little bit. Though it's not fully opening its mouth, but this is something that we can work with. Now, once you finish generating your videos, this takes us to the next step where we need to generate audios for our narrator and our characters. And the tool that we're going to use is DubDub. So we'll head over to DubDub. Once you're on DubDub, click on AI VoiceOver. Once you're on this page, click on More VoiceOver here at the bottom on your right. Then from there, select a voice that you prefer. You can select this based on language and accent, gender, age, and quality. So I need English, scroll down, do select English. Then from there, I'll select Gemma's voice. I hope I've pronounced this one correctly. From there, I'll click on the select. So Gemma's voice will play as our narrator's voice. From here, what we want to do is go back to our story, copy the first part for our narrator, come back to dub dub and paste it here. Once it's pasted, click on this play icon here to generate your audio. Once you are happy with how everything sound, what you want to do is click on the export button here and select MP3 and click on export to export your audio. So you repeat the same process for all your narration. Generate voices line by line. Trust me, this will save you so much time and stress when editing. Now for the characters, what I would love you to do is come to more voiceovers, then scroll down and come to where it says animation videos. From here, you'll find a lot of characters, those that you know and those that you do not know. Select the one that you would love to use in your project. I suggest going for a character who is not that famous. So for Felix the Fox, I will use the squirrel's voice. I'll click select. I'll go back to my story. I'll copy the first line for my fox. Come back to dub dub and I'll paste it here. Once it's pasted, I'll just click on the play icon and generate my audio. If you're happy with the way it sounds, just click on export, click on mp3 and export your audio file. Now, one thing we must keep note of is you can adjust the speed and the pitch of your voice. Currently, it's set to 1, but you can reduce it a little bit. I recommend reducing it up to maybe 0 0.9, that's if it was on 1. Anything less than that, it gives you something off. So generate your audio once that is set and compare the two which one generated the best audio for you. So from there, what you simply have to do is generate all the audio files for the fox. And once that is done, come to more voices, choose a different animated character for the tattoo, select it and generate all the audio files for the tattoo. Now, once that is done, it's time to lip sync the audio with our character. And the tool that we're going to use is a Dreamface AI. Once you're on Dreamface, what you want to do is come to AI tools and select a video lip sync. From here, click on generate avatar video. 
Then here you can lip sync your part. This works perfectly if you've got one character that synophilizes with the avatar video. It works perfectly when you've got only one character in your video. But as a content creator, you just have to play smart and creative to make sure that everything falls into place. So what I'll do is I will click on the upload video or photo. Click on upload from PC. Select the first video file of a fox talking once uploaded close this tab then from here what you want to do is come to audio and upload the audio file that you've just generated from dub dub once it's uploaded what you want to do is scroll down a little bit and click on generate hey there timmy i heard a beautiful tune was that you no, this is just so amazing and so powerful. Now, you can also try to use other animating softwares and compare between the two which one generates the best results for you. From there, what you can simply do is repeat the same process, upload your next video file or scene, add a voiceover, and click on generate. And once that is done, this takes us to the final part where we need to blend everything together. And the tool that we can simply use is CapCut. So the first thing that we are supposed to do is upload all our audio files for the narrator and the video files that we've lip synced. Once uploaded, start with the audio file. From there, drag the audio file and the video file. And once you are done aligning your audio files with your video files together with the narrator's audio, the next thing that you're supposed to do is add some background music to your video. Reduce its volume to match the video. And from there, what you have to do is add transition between video files if necessary. Not only that, but you can also add captions to your video to make it more appealing to your audience. Just come to caption here on top, click on auto caption, and from there, click on generate caption. Once the caption is generated, align it to your caption by coming to text here on your right. And from there, your video is ready to be uploaded. Take your time when it comes to editing, add elements that you feel will match your video. Not only that, add filters that you feel will be necessary in your video because you want to make this as epic as possible. And once that is done, your video is ready to be uploaded to your YouTube channel. Let me know in the comments comment section below how you feel and think about this entire process. Let me show you the final video with you and if you have any question, comment them in the comment section below and I would really love to see you subscribe to our channel. From here, God bless you. Check out this next video, how to create amazing animated videos. See you. In a peaceful forest, lived a clever fox named Felix and a very shy turtle named Timmy. Timmy loved to sing. But only when no one was around, he was afraid others would laugh at his quiet little voice. La 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 Oh no, someone's coming. What should I do? What should I do? Hey there, Timmy! I heard a beautiful tune! Was that you?